Good morning, Year One. I just wanted to say how proud I am of all your hard work. It's been amazing to see all your work on Weedoc, so thank you so much. Tomorrow, Wednesday, the 20th of January, your new work pack will be ready to collect from school. So just wait for a text from the office and then you'll be able to go and collect it. If you bring in your old work pack, then I can mark that for you. OK, right. Let's get started with our phonics lesson then. So have you got your pencil, your paper, your listening ears ready? Off we go. First of all, we're going to have a look at some of our tricky words. So I'm going to say them nice and clearly, and I would like you to do the same, please. So I say this, you say, I say am, you say, I say he, you say, I say up, you say. Okay, well done. I wonder if you notice anything about these tricky words and yesterday's tricky words. I'll give you a few seconds to have a little think. Okay, well done if you notice that they are the same tricky words. The reason why they are the same is because these ones are quite difficult. Okay, so it's really important that we get these correct before we move on to the next lot of tricky words. Okay, right, let's have a look at our new phoneme for today. In front of you, you will see two letters, and that's represented, that's our grapheme, and that grapheme is represented by the sound er, uh, okay? Er uh, as in her. So an e eh and a er together make the phoneme er. Uh. Can you have a go at practicing that sound? Lovely. Let's have a look at then at some words with our er uh sound in. So I'm going to use my sound buttons for this. I'm going to get my pencil ready. So if you want to write the word down on your piece of paper first, and then you can do the sound buttons with me. So let's have a look. Ah. St. Uh. Okay. Fast. Uh. Faster. Lovely. Let's have a look at our next word. Oh, I recognise our I trigraph that we've learned. I, uh, higher, higher. Well done if you read those all by yourself. What I would like you to do now is have a little think about adding those words into your own sentence. You can just say them out loud. So, for example, the car is going faster than the bus. Okay, that's my example. Can you give an example for the word faster and higher, please? Off you go. Okay, well done. So now I have got a sentence on my screen. So you should be able to see that. I want you to pause me and I want you to check if my sentence is okay. Have I included my new phoneme? And can you read it for me out loud? Off you go. Okay, let's have a look. Let's read it together. Anaya is faster than Miss Husband. <gasps> so Anaya Chatun is faster than me. Oh, I need to practice my run in. Right. Have I included my capital letter? Yes, I've got my green capital letter there. Have I got my finger spaces? Yep, I can see each word clearly and I've spelt them all correctly using my phonics and I have finished my sentence with a red full stop. So looking at my sentence now, we're going to have a go at writing our very own sentence. So I've got quite a cute picture there. I can see a cat under the rug. OK, so that's what my sentence is going to be. So I'm going to get my board ready and I would like you to help me write my sentence, okay? okay? I hope you can see me nice and clearly. So I've got my pens ready. So can anyone remember what my sentence was? Yes, well done. It is the cat is under the rug. Okay, so that's six words I need to write. So I've practiced saying it out loud. So now I feel confident to write it down. 
So I've got my green pen to represent my capital letter. So I have got a capital T for the word the. Now that's one of our tricky words and we all know how to spell that. So it's t -h -h the. Okay, now I need a finger space in between each word. So the cat, easy peasy, we all know how to spell cat. The cat is under. Okay, what can you hear in the word under? Well done, that is our new phoneme, uh. Okay, so, or, mm, d, uh, okay, or, mm, d, uh, under. Let's read it from the beginning to make sure it makes sense so far. The cat is under the rug, okay. The rug. Make sure when you're doing your g that it is hanging over under the line, okay? Brilliant. And um, what do I need at the end of my sentence? A full stop to show that my sentence has finished. Lovely, right. I would like you now to write your very own sentence describing the picture you can see on your screen. You can use mine to help you, but I would like you to challenge yourself and I would like you to think of your very own sentence. To push yourself even further, could you include our conjunction and in your story? I'll be very impressed if you could do that. Okay, I look forward to seeing your sentences on Weeduck. Bye.